today you're going to finish up your notes on the Stone Age. So when you get into your assignment, you're going to be looking for where it says assignment for Titan 2, if you're A day. If you're B day, you're going to be looking for where it says assignment for 10-5. So you're going to watch the video that you're currently watching, which is on plan book, and then you're going to open up the section notes so we can finish filling that out. So when it pulls up, you'll want to click edit in browser. And then when it pulls up, you're going to want to pick up where you left off. So again, if you cannot, if you need it zoomed in, you click down here, click view, zoom. I usually go 100% usually is good. And then that'll zoom it in. So we left off talking about the tools and how they helped early humans. And now we're going to talk about ways that they use those tools and how they got their food. So you're going to be listening as we read for what a hunter gatherer is. So early people were hunter gatherers and then we're going to give the definition. And then the hunters, which people of that time were the hunters, which people at that time were the gatherers. And then these gatherers stayed near the camps and took care of what? So listening as we read. So I'm going to pull up a picture of the book that we read out of today. So we're starting here at the top underneath the heading Hunter Gatherer Societies. As early humans developed tools and new hunting techniques, they formed societies. A society is a community of people who share a common culture. These societies developed cultures with languages, religions, and art. So as these people started getting likes and interests and they started living together to take care of each other and they developed similar cultures. So now we're going to read about this society in this subheading. Anthropologists believe that early humans lived in small groups. In bad weather, bad weather they might have taken shelter in a cave if there was one nearby. When food or water became hard to find, groups of people would have to move to new areas. So if they were, you know, hunting a certain group of animal and that animal migrated, the people would then have to move to be able to find more animals to hunt. Or if in like certain areas in Africa, there's a dry season where the river dries up. And if the river dries up, then they will need to move to be able to have access to water. So as the food or water, you know, became hard to find, they had to move to new areas. So they were nomads. Now we're reading here. The early humans of the Stone Age were hunter gatherers. So now we can see this is bolded, which tells us it's our vocab word and our definition that we'll put in our notes. So hunter gatherers are people who hunt animals and gather wild plants, seeds, fruits, and nuts to survive. So they're hunting animals, hunting their food and gathering their food from the wild. So they hunt animals and gather wild plants, seeds, fruits, and nuts to survive. To survive. Anthropologists believe that most Stone Age hunters were men. So the hunters typically were the men. So that group of people who were typically the hunters was men. They hunted in groups, sometimes chasing entire herds of animals over cliffs. This method was both more productive and safer than hunting alone. So in the book, we have a picture here that shows how the they chased a mammoth into a little ravine. So that's what they would do since, you know, they're hunting with spears and they have these big animals. They're not going to want to face this animal head on. So they made it go towards a cliff or a ravine so that they had a better chance of getting that animal without getting hurt themselves. So again, the hunting was done by men. So hunters equal men. Now we're up here. Women in hunter-gatherer societies probably took responsibility for collecting plants to eat. So typically the gatherers were women. They likely stayed near camps and took care of children. So the gatherers equal women and they stayed near camps and took care of children. 
Now we're going to read the subtitle, Language, Art, and Religion. The most important development of early Stone Age culture was language. Scientists have many theories about why language first developed. Some think it was to make hunting in groups easier. Others think it developed as a way for people to form relationships. Still, others think language made it easier for people to resolve issues like how to distribute or divide among a group of people their food. Language wasn't the only way early people expressed themselves. They also created art. People carved figures out of stone, ivory, and bone. They painted and carved images of people and animals on cave walls. Scientists still aren't sure why people made art. Perhaps the cave paintings were used to teach people how to hunt, or maybe they had religious meanings. So we know that they put their art on the wall. And this picture shows another man up by the wall painting a picture there. And like they said, you know, they aren't sure why. But a lot of times it was either used to, you know, tell about success that they had. You know, it makes me think of, you know, the example I used before. If you catch a big fish, you know, you take a picture of it to show it off. Um, maybe it gave instructions on how to do something, or it could also be, you know, telling the history of something that has happened, or maybe a wish for the future. So the cave paintings could have a variety of meanings. 